Hey everyone, this is Mason from FilterGrade. Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects are more intertwined than most Adobe programs. If you're editing a video in Premiere, you'll probably end up using After Effects for more complicated visual tricks that aren't possible in Premiere. In this video, we're going to cover how to have a good workflow between the two programs so you can get work done between them quickly and easily. Adobe has provided a great tool for helping out with this in the form of Dynamic Link. Dynamic Link allows you to easily take a clip from Premiere Pro and bring it into After Effects as a linked file. That means you can apply any effects you like to it within After Effects and see them applied within your Premiere Pro timeline. To use this feature, right click on the clip you wish to edit and click Replace with After Effects Composition. This will automatically open After Effects and you'll be prompted to save the After Effects project before getting started. You will see your clip come in as a new composition. If you want to import more than one clip at a time, all you have to do is select all of them, right click, and import them in the same way, and they'll come up as different layers in the same composition. If you want to edit multiple clips in your Premiere Pro project in After Effects this way, you won't have to create a new After Effects project each time. Just do the same process and it'll open as a new composition within the project. Now you can apply whatever effects you want in After Effects, whether it's just a simple text animation overlay or a full VFX composition. When you're done, just make sure to save the project and then go back to your Premiere Pro timeline. To see the effect play in your timeline, you can simply play it. If you're using a slower computer or a more complex effect, you may need to render that clip in your timeline in order to play it back at full quality. To do so, just press the Enter key with your timeline selected to render the unrendered footage, and you'll see that red bar above the footage turn to green. Unfortunately, you'll be stuck rendering that clip every time you make a change, either in After Effects or in Premiere Pro, as it will revert back to its original unrendered source file. To stop this from happening, right click on the file and click Render and Replace. This will render out the clip in its current state and replace it with a new one. Now when you apply something simple like color correction, it won't be trying to play back the original After Effects composition. Now if you go back and edit the clips in After Effects, they won't change in Premiere Pro, because the linked clip in your timeline was replaced by a rendered version. Therefore, you should only render and replace when you're done with your After Effects edit and are moving on to just working in your Premiere Pro project. If you do need to make a change after replacing the file, doing so is pretty easy. In the project panel, you will see that Premiere Pro saved the After Effects linked file. You can just open this up in your source monitor, then right click your rendered clip and go to replace with clip from source monitor. This will replace it with the unrendered linked file from After Effects. This method also ensures that any Premiere Pro effects you applied like color correction will still be applied to that clip. Text layers work nicely with Dynamic Link as well. If you use a text layer in After Effects, you don't necessarily have to go back into After Effects to change what you've written. Double click the After Effects linked file in your project panel so it opens in the source monitor. Go into the effects controls panel and you will see that you can just replace the text with whatever you want. This could save you from reopening After Effects to make a quick wording change and just keep it within Premiere Pro. Dynamic Link is pretty flexible. You can really make your workflow whatever you want. Rather than exporting a timeline to be edited in After Effects, you can simply drag a project file into an empty After Effects project and select the timelines you wish to import. You'll see your timeline appear as one continuous clip in a composition, and any changes you make in Premiere Pro will be reflected in the After Effects composition. You should only do this method if you have completely arranged your clips and cuts in Premiere first. Since After Effects will read your timeline as one whole clip, it's important to lock down that edit beforehand, using After Effects as a final layer of production on top of the finished edit. Things like color correction can still be adjusted in Premiere, but moving clips around and changing cuts will make your After Effects project more complicated. Premiere Pro and After Effects are truly easy to reuse in conjunction with each other, and this workflow opens up a lot of possibilities for working with different clips and effects. Let us know in the comments below what other Adobe tutorials you'd like to see from FilterGrade in the future. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit FilterGrade.com today.